All right, welcome back to the Frenzy. We start quarter number three with a Hoosier Conference matchup between West Lafayette and Rensselaer. Last Friday, the Red Devils lost a heartbreaker at Tipton 62-61. Coach Wood and company were looking to bounce back tonight in another Hoosier Conference road game. To Rensselaer we go. Justice Stanback would play a big role in this one. First quarter action. Brian Bangs, the senior with the steal, takes it coast to coast. Points hard to come by early on. Very physical first half. Other side, Dane Brooks in the post using the moves to beat the double team. Two points for the senior bomber. Tight defense causing turnovers and it's Stanback coming up with it. The 6'9 senior takes it on the fast break. He finishes softly. Shots would finally start falling. Senior Red Devil Tori Eager spots up from Big O's sports room down at Bruno's. All met on that one. Then it's Stanback starting, starting to wreck some havoc on defense. Here's a pair of great blocks. Get it out of here, Mike. West Lafayette goes on to win this game, 65-46. Bruno Doe for everybody. And I've got the next one. Tough to follow that. Pioneer hosting Lewis Cass in a county rival game. First quarter, Carter Skaggs takes this pass down low and muscles it in. Panthers lead 12-10. Into the first, Ryan Aldridge grabs the miss, puts it in for the buzzer beater, tied at 12 after one. Second quarter, Scruggs looking like Derrick Rose there with the spin move, 19-18 Pioneer. Later, David Watterson uses the nice screen from Aldridge for the easy jumper, 25-22 Kings. Then Skaggs drives to the middle, loses his man, and pans the jumper, 27-22 Lewis Cass. Into the half, deja vu, Aldridge grabs the miss, puts it in, beats the buzzer. Kings led 29-22 at the half. Unfortunately, the Kings go on to defeat the Panthers by a final score of 51-48. Coach Skaggs joins us in a little bit. Look forward to hearing his comments. Frankfurt traveling to Western Boone tonight. Second half of this game, the Hot Dogs' Brody Kirby drives the baseline. He hits the tough lay-in, and then later it is the Stars' Austin Burtner nailing the three, and that pulls Western Boone within 12. And then off the miss, Western Boone Zach Martin, no relation to Caleb Martin, snags the sure? rebound and puts it back in. I am sure on that one. But the Hot Dogs' answer, it is Dakota Isgrig is good, muscling that one in. The Stars trying to come back. It's Burtner. Cutting the lead to 10 with that trifecta. Who? Burtner. <laughs> and then the Stars on the break. Burtner gets the outlet and lays it in, but Frankfurt too tough in this game. Late in the game, Isaac Rudd lays it in. The Hot Dogs go on to win this game by a final of 63-47. Carroll hosting Twin Lakes this evening. Early in this game, it is Cameron Beddington of the Indians uh, inbounding it to somebody he owes very well. Tyler Reddington dishes back to Bennington for the open shot. And then it is Bennington again. Oh, look at that play. You got to love Martin's that. moment nominee. There right you go. There. Clever. And it is worth another look again here. This is how you improvise. Right there off the back of the defender, laying it in. And that is an Indians basket. Uh, nicely done. Now, Carroll, the Cougars would make a run as Brady Wiles bangs in the three ball. But the Indians too much as Reddington bearing the three. And he also draws the foul. And Twin Lakes goes on to win this contest by a final of 54 to 45. Faith Christian at home tonight taking on Providence Cristo Ray. That's the Eagles Nest, the Faith Christian student section supporting the home team. They're a very enthusiastic group. They would enjoy this. It is the Eagles West Smeltzer. The three ball nicely done by number five. And then look at the defense by the Eagles. Vernon Ford, he gets the steal and not only that takes it all the way for the nicely contested layup and the Eagles are starting to rally a big game for this young man of faith, Christian at the free throw line, Jay Jung, he makes the free throw. Jung had a double-double, 15 points and 10 rebounds, but it's Providence Cristo Ray going on to win this Friday night game by a final of 68 to 48. Ross? You take the oxygen tank, I'll take the highlights. Martin's Mustangs taking on South Vermillion. Fountain Central's tricked over to South Vermillion tonight. Fountain Central's Ethan Woodrow gets the boards, fights off the defender and makes a nice pass to Kobe Pierce for the layup. South Vermillion's Nathan Luff buries the three right here. Wildcats. Cam Y. Rick Mister hustles on this play, gets the steal, scores on the break for South Vermillion. That's a name right there, Mike. Fountain Central's Ethan Woodrow with the layup. The Mustangs. Caleb's happy tonight. They go on to win 63 to 51. Uh, congratulations to Purdue Volleyball. They held its their annual postseason banquet tonight in which four Boilermaker senior players were honored. Ariel Turner, Anna Drury, Amanda Miller, and Courtney Goswich. Turner was uh, recognized for multiple honors, as were redshirt junior Carly Kramer and freshman Annie Drews. 
Miller garnered the Carol Dewey Mental Attitude Award as well as the squad's Red Mackey Award nomination. Turner, Rachel Davis, and four other Boiler players earned academic All Big Ten accolades. The Boilers finished an outstanding 2012 season in which they advanced to the Sweet 16. And there's still one quarter to go on this week's edition of the Friday Night Frenzy. Pioneer head coach Pat Skaggs will join us next to talk about his Panthers. The Frenzy will be 